perhaps the most important success story in this terrible outbreak that we've been experiencing has been the success with vaccines. But this did not start in January when the virus was recognized. It began with research decades earlier, particularly within the NIH and particularly within the Vaccine Research Center, where basic preclinical and clinical research to develop vaccine platforms like mRNA and vector-borne expression of protein. In addition, the stabilization of the spike protein at the NIH Vaccine Research Center by Dr. Barney Graham and his colleagues serves as the basis for five out of the six vaccines that have now been either tested or already proven to be efficacious. In addition, the NIH has utilized and pivoted its extensive domestic and international clinical trials network that we set up decades ago for HIV and influenza. As you well know, and as was mentioned in some of the opening remarks, we now have three vaccines that have been proven to be highly efficacious and safe. The Moderna, the BioNTech Pfizer, and the J&J. And we soon will be getting data from AstraZeneca and Novavax. One thing to point out about the development of this vaccines, that it has been done in record time. The sequence of the virus was put on a public database on January 10th. 65 days later, a phase one trial started. And on July 27th, two of the three vaccines, the Moderna and the Pfizer, began a phase three trial. And within a period of a total of 11 months, vaccine was going into the arms of individuals that was highly efficacious. And it should be pointed out that there was no cutting of corners, that this was just a reflection of the extraordinary scientific advances. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.